Bye. Hey, William. Will you believe me? I we should be cartoon sharks. Yes, we really should. <laughs> there is amazing news out of Iceland. They are putting Song the Captain to the side and they are internally selecting Daffy Frere and Gangnam Mangan for Eurovision 2021. Should we talk about it? <laughs> Let's do this! Seven, this is the news that many, many Euro fans have been waiting for ever since Eurovision 2020 was cancelled. Gagna Magnet and Daffy Fur, of course, charted in the UK. They were viral. Well, within the top 40, even. They were the bookies' favourite at one point to win the Eurovision Song Contest. There was so much hype behind this. I just want your initial reaction. Are you excited? Oh, William Lee Adams, you know what? I've got six words for you. I'm going to supply the first three. You must do... What is right... Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. The, this is right. This is fair. This is just. You know, they won Song of the of course, but they wanted the chance to represent Iceland at Eurovision and actually perhaps bag the Eurovision trophy. There's a lot of winged powering this act. Yeah, I think it would have been slightly different if they had won Song of the and then were like 42nd in the betting odds. Then it might have been like, okay, sorry, this is an Elisa Portugal situation. But this is not an Elisa Portugal situation. This is, oh my goodness, you could have finally brought the trophy home to Iceland because it was realistic. It, it was, was very, very realistic. very realistic. They were in the running. I don't think it was guaranteed, but depending on the staging, they were in the mix. Girl, the predictions, the Weeby Jury... Um, all variations of predictions we've done, you know, the maximum deuce point oh, yeah. one, the, the sort of Eurovision style, oh, yeah. e everything, they always finish consistently in the top five. And you know what? They're brilliant. They charted very, very high. Samba Kepnan, can we just keep it real? They've retired this format several times. Between 1995 and 1999, there was no Samba Kepnan. You're all out of luck. <laughs> you never give up. That, the internal selections produced Paul Oscar and Selma. And Selma, I have to say, is my favorite Icelandic act ever. I love Paul oh. Oscar. You know what? Give me leather whips and chains. And in I got some just over there. <laughs> in two thousand, your waistline's too tiny. In <laughs> two thousand and four and two thousand and five, there was no song for Ketman either. Yes. Okay. Fine. We've seen this program as a sort of, you know, tradition, heritage, legacy, but there are times when it does take a backseat to push forward an act that deserves to move forward. Now, I quickly want to read a statement. This is from RUV announcing the news. The musician Daffy Freyr Pedersen will represent Iceland in the Eurovision Song Contest in Rotterdam in May. RUV contacted Daffy Freyr, who agreed to compose a song for the competition. The song Think About Things with Daffy and Gagna Magnet won Song the Captain in 2020, but due to COVID-19, Eurovision, which was to take place in Rotterdam, was cancelled. The song was a big success. As of the time of writing, it has been played almost 55 million times on Spotify. The song won the audience vote in many European countries, including all the other Nordic countries. And can we pause just there, Devin? Doing well in the Nordic countries is often a sign of doing very well at Eurovision. Scandi pop realness. I mean, let's keep it real. This is a happy song in the, you know, this is a happy song that made Europe very happy. It actually crossed borders into Australia and America. Let's not forget all the star power that this song attracted. And RUV says explicitly that their success among fans, charts, bookies, etc. was part of the reason. They go on to say this. Daffy won Song the Captain in 2020 with excellence and the reception of the Icelandic contribution has never been so good. We are therefore very happy and proud to be able to send this great musician and his people out as intended last time. Of course, many things had to be considered when this decision was made, but after much deliberation, we thought this was the only right thing to do, not least in light of the unprecedented situation that arose this year that no Eurovision Song Contest was held for the first time in history. We thought it was both right and fair. Okay, we're obviously very keen, but let's hear from some other Weeby bloggers around the world. Take it away. Hi everybody, Suzanne here, calling you all from Atlanta, Georgia today because, well, I haven't spent much time anywhere else this year. So I have got to wear my own tank top more often because when I wear my own tank top, good things happen, y'all. I am so excited 
that Iceland has announced that Dottie will be returning for Eurovision 2021. I'm so excited that we're all hopefully returning for Eurovision 2021. But I am elated that Dottie gets to represent Iceland because I love to think about things. Just the fun, edgy, 80s, kitschy vibe that kept me smiling the whole way through. So excited. Congrats, Dottie, and great choice, Iceland. We'll see you soon. Bye. Hey, everyone. Sebastian from Australia. Think about things have, has obviously taken the world by storm, and uh, I think lots of people believe that he should have the chance to go to Eurovision. If not, with his song Think About Things, then a new song, just so long as he is comfortable in making a new song and he can capture the magic that he had in Think About Things. Uh, that song was obviously very personal and captured a, a particular time in his life. So uh, hopefully his new song can create such a magic moment as Think About Things. And I'm super excited to see what he comes up with and having that freedom to write a song and a performance uh, without the pressure of uh, Song of a Kepnan uh, competing against others as well. So um, he's hoping and he's knowing, no doubt, that uh, Daddy and his team can, can create something great for 2021. Hey guys, Oliver here, Wee Wee Vlogs correspondent from Merseyside, and I am so, so, so excited to hear that Daddy Freya is back for Eurovision next year. I really think, fingers crossed, that 2021 could be Iceland's year to take home that victory that they have deserved after all of these years. Think About Things was the perfect package. It was amazing staging, it was great lyrics, the song was catchy, and if anybody's gonna bring home that crown, it's gonna be Daddy Freya. Fingers crossed, guys, you got this. Good luck. Hello, Tom Hendrick here from Leicester, UK. I have just received the amazing news that Daddy Freya is going to represent Iceland again, this time in Eurovision 2021. I thought he was the darling of Eurovision this year. He was the winner that never was, in my opinion. I think we might have been going to Reykjavik had the C word not been a thing, uh, but I'm so happy that um, Iceland asked him to come back. Yes, it's a shame there's no song of a happen this year, but I really think Daddy Frey is gonna bring an even better song than Think About Things. As long as he stays true to himself, I love the fact that the song was close to him, it was personal, as long as he stays that, throw a few gimmicks here and there but make him different make him fresh i'm sure he will i'm sure there's lots of brilliant ideas that are floating around uh, daddy freya's head and i can't wait to see what happens hi hi this is Danen from iceland i am super happy about it uh, this is exactly what i was hoping for because i think daddy and kakna magne deserve to go to eurovision i'm not really sad about there's no sing will be no synchro kefni it will be weird since this will be the first time since 2006 we won't have a synchro kefni but in this case you know i don't care about synchro kefni i just want daddy to represent iceland my country i'm pretty sure he's gonna do a great job the biggest risk will probably be that the song won't be as good as Think About Things, but as Tade is an amazing songwriter and I like every single song that he has written, so I'm pretty sure I personally will like it. But I think that because Think About Things got such a, like a momentum in Europe, then it might be, you know, the risk might be that it won't receive as much attention or like positive uh, feedback but not really i um i don't care i just want Tade to go to eurovision and do his best and make us proud which i'm pretty sure that he will do and you know generally i prefer a national selection i'm not saying i don't like songs that have been internally selected but for uh, iceland i prefer a national selection but in this case i am happy that Dade has been internally selected i'm pretty sure that the song will be in a similar genre as think about things he has said that it will be a fun song or it will be written similarly to think about things where he has pictured the staging and pictured the video for the song before he has written the song it's the exactly same thing he did with think about things so 
I'm just excited. And whatever happens, at least Tade gets to go to Eurovision. Bye. Now, Devin, I want to ask you a question about the genre you hope Daffy Freyer and Gagne Magnig perform in. Do you want to see a carbon copy of last year? I mean, there are risks in doing something similar to last year because people will say, oh, that's a copy of what you already did. Do you want them to go in a whole new direction? What are you thinking? You know what I want? I want a song that gives mileage. Think about mm. things. Can I just say this drop today? Daffy dropped three brand new remixes of the song. The Soda remix, which is bass oh. heavy. The Tumpery remix, which has got this chilled out Lazy Lounge Ibiza vibe. And my favorite, the A-L-M-K-R. Club ready hunting. Yes. <laughs> Wait, can we just say, he knows how to reinvent things. Do you remember his version of Fuego? Mm. That was good. I and Lainey called us, didn't she? Oh yeah, she loved it. She absolutely loved mm. it. So he's able to reinvent. I don't think he'll give us a carbon copy of last year. No, no. Because I think he's well aware of the risks of that. And you're so embroiled in reading out the statements, but what, how do you feel about this? You know, I think it is a risk, but I think it's a risk worth taking. Not a risk because he's not talented. He can obviously write songs for days. I just think that, you know, say he were to do poorly at Eurovision. Not that he would. People are going to be like, oh my goodness, blah, blah, blah. Like, the bar becomes quite high. Do you know what I'm saying? The bar is already very high. Because to chart at number 34 in the UK as a Eurovision song is really hard. When Eurovision is not even happening. Oh. It's like unheard of, and he did it. And he did it. And so there'll be a lot of eyes, but the thing is, I think he can reinvent and do well. He lives in Berlin, honey, they are bohemia, they are creative, okay? They keep that creativity coming. Ultimately though, it is, I don't wanna say morally, it's like, I just think it's fair. I mm. think it's fair. I just think Icelanders are flexible, ultimately. Like they understand, and the RUV has already said they will replace the song with Captain Season with other musical programming, other musical shows, so it's not like they're gonna lose the festival, the spirit of, of life and light and music that is Sandra Kepner. What I do like about Daffy is that he's clearly the brainchild behind all of this because yeah. anytime he's being referred to, you know, the Gagnamid is just like, and his people, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but Daffy. he's very good about including the band. He like always, like I think he, I have the sense he likes when you tag them and stuff. He likes mm. them to feel included because they are part of this. But look, I want to read a statement from Daffy Fair. This is how he has framed the song he is going to write. I am very excited about this. The reason why I competed in Songbook in 2020 was to try to go with Gagna Magnet to experience Eurovision from the inside. We always aim to see how far we could get in the race and it will be the same next year. The entire Gagna Magnet team will be included. The main thing is that it will be fun, but I think it would of course be most fun to win. Now I just hope that there will be a real competition. I have come up with some ideas about the song, but nothing has been decided. I actually know what the music video will be like and have some key points that need to be made in the staging, so I will compose the song around it. I will try to compose a song that fits the scene, but not the other way around. Eurovision is something special, but this will be a happy song. It is quite clear. Oh, this, that is, is, this interesting. is a inverted order, isn't it? I mean, like, visuals first. I guess there are two things that spring to mind. One is that he's been in the game. Having competed at Song of the Kepnan last year, he understands the dynamics of like a song for TV as opposed to just a song. And it's a very, it's a very important distinction to understand. The second thing I would say, he's probably privy to all the tricks that the Eurovision 2020 stage can do, right? Because he, they, they had the plans, they were all planning, so the HODs all knew what that stage is capable of, the things that are not public yet. So he can write a song with that in mind. So that to me suggests that he and the other contestants who were chosen last year, they have an advantage over someone who's gonna be starting from scratch. There is a flashback caveat to this, and I'm just gonna say Greta Salome, Hear Them Calling, was actually composed with visuals first. And when you do that, there is a risk that the, the focus is split. However, I think in the case of Greta Salome, it was it's slightly different because from what I've heard, the team in Stockholm didn't execute the vision they had. Ah. I remember being on the ground and some people involved in the project were essentially saying, we're quite upset they've changed the graphics. So it wasn't, yeah, I think, it's looking good for Daffy is what I'm trying yeah. to say. I think, I think it's looking real good. It's looking real good. You know, I'm confident. And, you know, if it doesn't go according to plan, I want him to be the driver of that, not to be eliminated and have another song for Ketman. And then, you know, it's good that they, they're trusting him and they're giving this to him. And I'm sure he's going to super slay with it. He was in the driver's seat last time. 
Mm. He clearly knows what works. Mm. I also want to bring up the fact that last year there was so much hype around Iceland, not just because of Daffy, but also because of the Eurovision movie. I just feel like Iceland was having a moment in 2020. Like, culturally, in terms of tourism, all these wonderful things were about to happen. You know, they may have hosted 2021, but then Corona, Ms. Rona decided to show up. And so I think it's lovely that they had the bump in... I don't want to say self-esteem, but the bump in like enthusiasm from the Eurovision movie and then the bump in enthusiasm from Daffy and now they can just keep running with it. Hype has never been a bad thing, you know, no. and I think that they can now ride on that hype comfortably. And you know, having foresight and having vision is a very important thing because when he was planning 2021, he omitted the month of May. Yes. So he's like, you know what, I'm going to just keep this free. Who knows what's going to happen? And you know what's interesting? He says explicitly in that statement, I'm in it to win it. I mean, what he's saying is, yeah, it's going to be a fun experience, but I want to win. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a little ambition. You know who said that? I agree. You know who said that? Dalai Lama. Angela Merkel. Okay? <laughs> Read the Time Magazine cover a few years ago. I can't even smile. Anyways, I just, I love that there's that ambition. There's no reason to shy away from it. I think, I don't think it's a given by any means when you have 40 plus countries, but certainly, you know, from the acts last year. It's a, it's a surefire qualifier. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 not making the final. <laughs> I just don't see that happening. It is going to make I don't see that happening. It's, it's really just quite exciting. He does have magic, you know? I mean, think about things, I have to say, I like every single version of it. And that's not an easy thing to do. That's not an easy thing to do. And I've had the song on spins, on repeats, and I just really like it. It grows on me, but I liked it to begin with on the first spin. I just want to bring up the fact that in the past, you've had winners like Dana International, winners like Charlotte Pirelli, go back to Eurovision, and things had not gone as well. Chiara from Malta, who didn't win, but came very close. And then in Moscow, she, you know, kind of tanked. What do you think about the idea of momentum, about, you know, memorability? I guess, what are the risks in your mind? We've also had Dima Bilan, who yeah. went with Never Never Let You Go, never, never, to never come back and go. slay, believing in himself. Yes. You know what? And even when Sergei Lazarev screamed for the second time, he, was st he still finished in the top three. That's you tough. You know what? It's not easy. Corolla. She's yep. always finished very high. I, I think Daffy will slay. Is there a risk of fatigue? No, because it's a fresh song. It's a fresh concept. And he's actually fired up and he's excited about it. And you know what? He's not over-delivering. He made it very clear. He'll take a back seat if he's not asked to come back. He was happy. You know, yeah, yeah. He was okay with that. Cool and now that. that he's been asked to come back, he's like, okay, fine. We've got work to do. And I, I'm taking my team with me. So... He believes in his team. You know, they work well together. It's a great collaborative effort. And he loves Eurovision. And I'm sure RUV is always supportive of its artists, the broadcaster, but I think they'll be extra supportive and be like, you want a $5 billion, you know, net to fall on stage and wrap you in glitter and gold and then a platform to raise you up to the sky? You can have it. Do you know what I mean? And let's not forget last year, or was it the year before, Somba Ketnin winners Hatari? I love them to bits, but not everybody did. And they still managed to finish in the top 10. I don't know a single person who dislikes this. That's a really interesting point. This is not divisive. I don't think there's any kind of political agenda explicit in the music. No. It's just very thoughtful kind of, you know, think about Family things. friendly. Family. He's writing okay. about his daughter. He's got his whole family in the band. And you know what? If you don't care for it, you're not going to dislike it. And that's, that's the thing. That's the thing. It will appeal to many people, but it won't turn anyone off. Absolutely. And like, it's kind of like an, I don't want to, the middle of the road is, songs at Eurovision that do well are often middle of the road, not in the sense of being mediocre, in the sense of appealing to many people. This is like ele an elevated version of that. Do you know I what I mean? It's I think this elevated. is good. I'm, I ha you know, what? it sounds like we're both very hopeful about this. Yeah, I just think he deserves to. Yeah. Like, it's just, you can't be one of, that's like Victoria from Bulgaria. She deserved to go back. Absolutely. Like She was a favorite to win. The Roop, in my mind, deserves to go back. Like Destiny Chukunyere. I mean, we could go on and on. We could probably go through about 43 art, 42 artists. So, but in any case, that's what we think. What do you think? Are you enthusiastic about Daffy Frere and Gagna Magnet returning to Eurovision or actually getting to go to Eurovision for the first time in 2021? Let us know here on Weebly Blogs. Yeah, be sure to listen to our podcast and follow us on multiple social media platforms. We are on TikTok. 
um, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye! Bye.